to some difficult news that hit close to home for us today. BCE, the parent company of Bell Media, which owns CTV News, announced massive layoffs, 4,800 jobs, including faces you're used to seeing on this program and others behind the scenes who help bring it to air. CTV's Heather Wright reports. They are the largest layoffs in nearly 30 years. Bell announcing today it is slashing roughly 4,800 positions, about 9% of its workforce. BCE called the cuts difficult but necessary as the company deals with higher interest rates and continued inflation. Bell also blamed an increasingly unsupportive federal government and regulatory decisions. The same release goes on to tout Bell's solid Q4 with earnings of $435 million. Among the divisions sharply hit is Bell Media, which owns CTV News. National news correspondents and camera operators in several major cities have been laid off, with plans to replace them with journalists who both report and shoot their own stories. Bell plans to sell 45 of its 103 regional radio stations. They bought them up uh, like corporate vampires. They sucked the life out of them, laying off journalists, uh, they have overseen the encrapification of local news by laying off journalists. And now uh, they say, you know, it's no longer economically viable. Live from our Maritimes News Center. New newscasts will also be cancelled in every market except Toronto. And weekend newscasts also scrapped except for in Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa. Several shows on CTV News Channel will be cancelled and programming at BNN Bloomberg will be streamlined. W5, CTV's long-running investigative series, will no longer be its own show, though it will serve as an investigative unit within CTV News. In the past decade, when acquisitions were allowed for those big companies to acquire a television station or radio station, it came with the promise that they would deliver on news content. And today, they are... Uh, backing from that promise. Around the world, news media face significant challenges from declining advertising revenue to competition from online giants like Google and Meta. Bell says the news division loses about $40 million a year. And while Bell Media as a whole makes money, journalism professor Dwayne Winsek says that's not enough. When it's not cranking out profit levels at the same time as internet access and its mobile wireless services, that have much, much bigger uh, revenues. I think, uh, you know, these, these uh, stations' fate uh, was sealed by the demands uh, for growing revenues, bigger profits. Bell says it will also close 107 The Source stores. All told, the company expects to save between 150 and $250 million a year. Heather Wright, CTV News, Toronto.